I'm here with JF Brandon from Bot Factory. Hi. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, Bot Factory SV2, and uh, it is a desktop 3D printer, PCB 3D printer, and it is a machine that is capable of printing multi layer circuits, dispensing, and pick and placing components to make a fully fledged PCB in a matter of hours instead of having to wait weeks, uh, months to get a board made. So this is a single layer board, it's a power supply that I made. Here's another design, this is a uh, signal uh, signal processor, it's basically an analog uh, circuit, uh, uh, what's the word for it? It's actually for guitar pedal to uh, change the sound of a guitar. Um, we have some other examples of our work right here. So this is a flexible circuit that I've embedded inside a 3D print. So I've kept some of the, I've printed, uh, I have basically 3D printing a plastic piece. Then I printed the circuit board with SV2 and then placed it on the uh, plastic piece and then started printing it again so that it encased it. So now I have uh, some parts of the components protected while keeping other parts free floating and, and flexible. Um, so this video right here displays our, our first product, Squink. So it's right now it's doing pick and place. So you can get a kind of idea of how it works. Um, so we can actually go through the process of, of uh, by wa by watching the video. So let's wait for this footage. <laughs> okay, so the starting process goes like this. This is Squink. This is our first product here. So it consists of uh, three different heads on a heat bed with a full gantry. You turn on the machine, pop it, pop open your computer, and you upload your Gerber files, which are you know your drill files, your Gerber files, and your paste files. And um, here's the first step. So here it is, printing conductive nanoparticle silver. So you see, heat is changing the material into pure silver. And those, that's the interconnects. To make the second layer, we have to print an insulating ink, covering the whole thing except for where there's vias, which are filled with conductive ink again. For dispensing, to get the parts connected to the, uh, the, the traces, we are using a dispensing system that's extruding a single part epoxy onto the pads. The third step of the process, we take components from a tray, use a camera to align them properly, and then place them on the, on the bed. And we can actually do several hundred different parts, at up to three to five, as much as 10 parts per minute. Okay, great. So who do you think would stand to benefit most from this technology? Uh, lots and lots of educators, uh, people who are doing research, or teaching at uh, colleges, who are typically one of our favorite users uh, for this product. Another big user are researchers at small companies as well as large companies. Typically companies that are developing products or doing new innovative ideas. Uh, other, other users are considered our makers, uh, people in the defense industry, um, and occasionally people who are working in ink research who need a machine to quickly iterate or try new inks. One last question, what do you think of the ID Tech Egg Show? It's amazing, everyone should go. If you're an exhibitor, it's a great place to meet uh, R&D managers and a lot of different people, there are a lot of different fields. Uh, for people that are just looking for new technologies, it's the best place to be. Okay, thank you very much, Jay. No problem, thank you very much.